one of the traits that every successful person has is they're proactive. They're proactive about everything. And I think that's a really great philosophy to have because, you know, if you're proactive, let's just talk about your health for a second. If you're proactive about it, right? And I guess you could say more preventative about it, then, you know, usually you're going to see the doctor because you're already sick or something, right? And so I think being proactive in your health, you know, taking the right vitamins, you know, drinking your greens or having the vegetables and doing those sort of things, being proactive about your health and your energy is definitely going to put you in a better situation for success than not, right? Well, I mean, let's talk about relationships. You know, if you're proactive in your communication and your relationships and not waiting for you know, the volcano to erupt, you know, having, having those conversations at point easy versus point, versus point critical, right? I think that you would have more successful relationships. At least I would have. I've learned my lessons throughout the years in relationships and that, you know, I'm thinking one thing in my head and I'm th I don't know what I'm trying to read their mind or whatever. Uh, I wasn't explicit with my communication. It was implicit, which was, it was in my head, but I wasn't verbalizing it. And the problem was it was, I was thinking about it, but it was kind of too late by the time I actually said it. And so I'm sure we've been in those situations where you should have said something earlier versus later. Let's talk more about communication. I mean, not really relationships here, but in communication, like, you know, let's say you're at work and are you proactive with your boss or the person that is your supervisor? Are you anticipating? Are you one step ahead of them, right? Kind of making their job easier. And I think that's one thing that we forget sometimes is that, you know, we have our job and that's our role, but really the bigger picture is, we're there because we're lightening somebody else's load, right? And so we gotta be proactive about that because if we just kinda wait and we're reactionary, then what's gonna happen is people are gonna have to micromanage us. And we all know that that sucks, right, to be micromanaged. And so being proactive kinda keeps them off your back. You know, if that's what you have to do to keep people off your back, then do that. But what happens is you start to create that habit of being proactive, right? And, and you know, with my wife, you know, one of the things that I love to do is give her random kisses or tell her I love her and things like that. And, and so I'm proactive with that as much as I can with little text messages and, 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 me, and just notes on the mirror and things like that. I, I do the best that I can at that because I want her to know that I love her. I want, I want her to feel that, right? But there's a lot of different areas that you, we all could be more proactive in. And one thing, this is huge, is being proactive in our learning. This is big. A lot of people, they stop learning when they get out of high school or they get out of college. It's like, oh, I f you know, I'm finished with my finals. I'm done. I got my degree and I'm done learning. And, and a lot of people, I know I'm being a little bit facetious right now, but a lot of people literally consciously kind of shut that off because they don't have to take a test or anything like that. And I think that's the furthest thing from the truth. That is the worst thing you can ever do. It's the biggest mistake you can ever do is leaders are students first. And if we're proactive about our learning and we're, you know, maybe every year you're trying to learn one new skill. Maybe you're learning how to play the guitar or you're learning how to sing or you're learning how to edit video or you're learning how to, you know, be better at social media or you're learning how to, you know, uh, public speak. I don't know. What, what are you being proactive about in your learning right now? Are you reading more books? Are you being proactive about your learning schedule? Are you actually blocking time off on your daily or weekly schedule to actually learn? I mean, you know, it's, it's a crazy concept, but I'm telling you every successful person has that. They block the time weekly, if not daily on that. And so that's a really good question to ask yourself is how proactive are you in your learning? Because I think that if we're not listening to positive things and reading positive things or watching positive things, then obviously the weeds and the negative things, because that's the default for us. I mean, I, you know, I don't care who you are as a human being, we tend to think about the worst. When, when, when something happens. Now we have to train our brains and have that habit forming and exercise that muscle of thinking the, uh, you know, the, the positive side of everything and what's the gift out of everything. But normally, you're de by default, if you're not training yourself, you're gonna think negative, our mind's gonna go in the gutter, our mind is just gonna go back, what's, oh, this is gonna happen, the worst thing that's gonna happen. And so you have to have that proactivity to staying positive and learning. And so I think you know health and relationships and communication, and especially our learning are so key in being proactive. There's a, there's a lot of other things we can be proactive in, but I just wanted you to think about those three things right now. What can you be more proactive in right now? And will that make you, your life easier? Probably. It'll, it'll help you become more successful in your career, in your business, in your relationships. Be more proactive with your kids if you've got kids, 
right? And be more proactive with the communication to your siblings and your family. Don't wait for them to call you, you call them. Send them a text, you know, give them a voice message, you know, send them a, a little quick video and text them the video or something and just be proactive today about the, the connections and the relationships and the things that you're, you're all about in your life. And so with that said, I hope this helped you arrive at your intended destination, healthy, wealthy, and happy.